Hello, you guys. It is your girl, Eternal Fam, and I'm here with a reading for the collective. Please be sure to like the video if it resonates. Comment down below if you felt about it and subscribe. If the reading doesn't resonate today, maybe next time. Holy Spirit, please just manage to cleanse out this reading. I call in positive energy. I pray for protection over this reading. Holy Spirit, what are the important messages that you have for the collective today? messages that you have over the collective today. Sorry, one more. Alright, Holy Spirit, important messages that you have over the collective today. Hangman. Share it in reverse. Five of swords in reverse. And the ten of wands. Bottom of the deck we have the moon. Could be a cancer here. Somebody is returning back in your life. Um... This person wants to reconcile. I do feel like with the Ten of Wands, somebody is carrying a lot on their shoulders right now. This could have something to do with their livelihood, the direction their life is going. This person is very confused. They don't know what they want out of life right now. And they could be coming back towards you. But I feel like it's because they're confused. Bottom of the deck, we have the moon card. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, we have the moon card. Somebody could be going through a divorce, a separation, a breakup. There's a lot of fear. They feel like they need somebody to talk to. They could be coming towards you because they just really need somebody to talk to. This person is, yeah, something just ended abruptly in someone's life. Or this could be you. So maybe you guys, a, a relationship or something could have ended abruptly in your life. And you're just really craving some sort of um, support right now. Like maybe you just really need somebody to talk to. Or this is somebody feeling like this towards you. They could be coming towards you. They want to express themselves. They're going through some things in their life. They could be going through a, a separation, a divorce, a breakup. And this person is like really sad right now. They feel like you're the type of person that will hear them. They feel like you're very empathetic. Okay, so you could be somebody who really empathizes with people when they're going through things. And somebody here just really wants to talk to you. Why are they in the hangman, Holy Spirit? What is the hangman? Justice, yeah, okay. So somebody is realizing like this is this is what's gonna happen because somebody is realizing they're getting what they're they're getting their end of the bargain. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. No, baby's sleeping. Oh. Go to bed. You kiss him in the morning. Okay, shut that door. Um, this person is realizing like everything that is happening in their life is because of them. Okay. So, yeah, and I feel like with the Knight of Swords in reverse, they could be coming to you in peace. Maybe this is somebody who you are divorcing, separating from. And I feel like this person is really, I'm also as well, they're coming to you in peace, but they could get like really offended by the things that you say. 
Like, if you could be telling them, like, I forgive you, but I still want a divorce. I forgive you, but I still want to keep my distance. Like, somebody is realizing the way you are carrying yourself is, like, you are, like, real life, like, not playing this time or something. Yeah, because I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles here, they may want to provide, especially if this is like a spouse or somebody you were with, they really want to give to the relationship here. They want to take things slow with you or they feel like you're trying to take things slow. But I'm getting like, this person is just trying to get close to you and I feel like you're not letting them. Yeah, and it's like Seven of Cups, it's like... There's a little bit of a delusion here. Like, they may feel like like it's not really over or something like that. Or you're like, this is just a break or something. Or I don't know. I feel like this person's not taking this breakup serious. But I'm getting with the hangman and justice. Like, this person is aware that this is their karma, okay? We're going to dive deeper in a second. Yeah, the sun card here. So I feel like things could be working out for you here and it, the Ten of Wands could just be here because maybe you just got a lot on your shoulders. You got a lot on your plate right now. But at the end of the day, like things are being resolved. Issues are being resolved. Like one by one, you're able to take these burdens off your back. I feel like a lot of things are really coming into fruition for you. And it could also be bringing a lot of happiness into your life it could be making you smile like i feel like you're finally becoming a lot more happy again so some of you guys this could be you going through this breakup going through this separation and you're finally like looking up again you're finally happy you're finally finding like your own peace of mind I do feel like this person wants to spoil you. Yeah, five of cups. Okay, so I'm also getting as well. This person, what happened was, this person could have got with somebody who they felt was like privileged, like a privileged lady or something like that. And this person could have came from a family that had money. And so they could have like found this person online or seen this person's lifestyle online this person was looking at somebody who clearly came from money came who was privileged okay and this could be the reason why they were like so disconnected from you yeah some of y'all if this was a marriage or a relationship or y'all was living together this is why it was not stable it was not balanced because this person was not pouring into your relationship and I feel like it's because this person was craving attention. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse. They were craving attention from this privileged lady. Yeah, because they felt like this person could give them this beautiful, luxurious lifestyle. And they wanted this. So this person could have been um, seeing this person, you know... And they could have been real life praising this energy. Like, it's like they put this person above you. And it's, it wasn't because of the qualities that you had. It was because this person was looking at somebody who came from wealth. And they just wanted some wealth. You know, that grass or the greener on the other side type of vibe, you know. Yeah. This person was, they made a decision, okay. And they did what was best for them, okay. Like, this is that type of energy. I feel like... You know, maybe their intentions were pure on their part. Like, maybe they didn't mean to hurt you. But I feel like they were like, this is what I want. And they went after what they wanted. And that's just the honest truth about this. Yeah, this person went after this. Because they, they felt like, you know, the grass was greener. They felt like this person was more stable. Maybe they feel like this person came from a background where they had better education. I'm also hearing that as well. Like, maybe this person... Whoever they were looking at, like, had a degree or they went to school, they went to college or they 
they came from a family that had a really good um, name for themselves or something like that. And this person was just looking at their future and they were like looking at you and they were looking at this person. They were like, well, this person comes from a well-rounded background and I feel like I would be better with this person because this person could put me in high places. So this person was kind of like weighing their options, but... The love that they had with you could have been real. And that could be what they forfeited. They forfeited something real. Okay, but let's go ahead and see, Spirit. What's the justice in the hangman, Holy Spirit? What's the justice in the hangman? The Eight of Pentacles. Wow. So some of y'all, the reason why they're getting this is because... This is like one of those situations. Yeah, the nine of wands. This is like one of those situations where like you and this person could have been building something. Like y'all empire was growing. Okay. And I feel like this person had to put in some hard work to become this emperor. And that's the thing about it. It's like spirit puts you and this person together, right? Especially if this is like a marriage is what I'm getting. Um, or like a real long relationship, whatever you have with this individual, I'm getting like, it was like a real life, like y'all was working like day and night to build something. And it was at the eight of pentacles. Like this person decided to like literally stop at the eight of pentacles because they wanted to skip to the 10 with this person, but they ended up starting completely over. Anytime you hop in a new relationship, that's a fresh start, right? But this person, in their mind, they thought, like, I would skip the 8 and hop straight to the 10 because this person comes from wealth. They come from money. They come from stability. But this person forgot, like, bro, that's not even you. That's not your money. That's not even their money. They were with somebody who was privileged. So it's like, yeah, you may come from a family that has money, but... If you don't got the money, you still going to have your hand out asking them for the money. So it's like that type of vibe. It's like this person went from being a worker to a beggar. You get what I'm saying? It's like they would have to work tooth and nail to, I mean, they would have to work or wait on this person's dime to get these finances. So it's like they started over. It's like they could have had their own job. They could have had their own money. Y'all could have had your own thing. Y'all could have had your own car crib. Whatever the case was, you could have had something going with this person. But they were like, well, that person over there has two more pentacles than us. So since they got two more pentacles than us, I'm going to forfeit what we built. And I'm going to go over there with them because they family come from that. And there's just a way that I could get in the will or something like that. Like, it's that type of vibe. So this could be the reason why they're getting this, just this karma. Because I feel like they didn't want to have to do the work. They didn't want to have to get dirty to become this emperor. And little did they know had they done the work, you know what I'm saying, they would have gained that success that they were looking for. But like I said, they wanted to rush the process and they ended up misjudging. God didn't call them to do that. This was a decision that they made on their own. See, they was like, I don't want to wait on God. I want to just go ahead and jump at the front of the line. And because they did not wait on the call, they were not called to rush and jump in a relationship with somebody else. They was not called to leave you behind or leave this foundation that y'all was building behind or this career, whatever this was. This person was not called to do that. They just did it because the grass, the, the grass looked greener. You know, and they just wanted to rush the process. And that's why this person's like, fuck. Like, they could be beating themselves up because they're like, fuck. Like, bro, I should have just stayed focused because it's like what y'all was building could be already Ten of Pentacles now. Some of y'all, a couple of years then pass, a year or two or, or, or a couple of months then pass, and y'all would have been at this Ten of Pentacles by now. But because this person decided to jump and just take some sort of impulsive action, they're getting that karma for that. Can we get a little more on the Eight of Pentacles? Can we get a little more on the Eight of Pentacles? Yep, High Priestess in Reverse. Yeah. This person's intuition was blocked. 
They could have made a lot of assumptions about you. It's like one of those situations. Yep, Nine of Swords. Yep, Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, y'all. Wow. Wow. I cannot make this up. This person's intuition was blocked. This person's intuition was telling them that you were blocking their blessings because they were tied to you. Their intuition was telling them that you were the reason they weren't successful. You were the reason you were getting in the way of their life. And that they needed to do whatever it takes to be single again. So they could have this privileged lady. Yeah, this person was looking for somebody who had more. And some of y'all, maybe you weren't born into wealth. And so you had to work for everything that you have. And this person felt like you were like a curse to them. Like, they feel like they deserve better. And I feel like with this Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, yeah, like, they really felt like you were, like, blocking their plans, getting in the way of their strategies, getting in the way of their plans because you were reliant on them. And some of y'all, this person felt like, like, say if, like, you would tell them, like, hey, you need to get a job or, hey, we need money for this or, hey, um... Can you take out the trash or, hey, can you wash? Like, this person didn't like the fact that you relied on them for, like, something, like, of your daily routine. Like, something as simple as taking the trash out or something or, like, washing the dishes or doing the laundry. It's, like, something like that. Like, this person didn't like the fact that, like, they had to stop what they're doing to help you. And that's what I'm getting. Like, I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't like to think about other people and that's the thing about it it's like how could you hop out of one relationship and go get in another one right and think that you're not gonna have to work there too like that's where this person had it mixed up like this person could have thought like if they left you they wouldn't have to do dishes they wouldn't have to do laundry because if they go get with the privileged lady like they got fucking maids and shit who do that shit for them like that's what i'm getting like this person was like why do i have to clean up why do i have to do these things why do i have to work why do i have to do these things when if i go get with this person over here i'm not gonna have to do none of that and it's like okay well it's giving me princess and a frog that's what i'm hearing like it's like somebody here was is very sheltered or they want to be like this person could have came from sh struggle but, like, they could be somebody who just really wants to be pampered and sheltered and stuff like that or, like, taken care of. So, it's like you being this hard-ass worker who works hard and busts your ass every day, it's like they don't want that life. They're like, no, if I, if I, if I, if I marry you, if I be with you, if I commit to you, I'm going to struggle. But this person, they don't, they didn't have faith. And some of y'all, this person created a lot of chaos in your life because of this. Yeah, they wanted that Ten of Pentacles. And that's why they never committed to you or they didn't want to commit to you because this person had plans of their own, y'all. And some of y'all, this person brought a lot of chaos in your life for no reason. And some of y'all, it's because they didn't want to be with you. And that's just the honest truth. They did not want to be with you, so they put you through so fucking much when they could have just left. And I mean, some of y'all, maybe they felt like it was going to be hard to leave, so they felt like they had to do this, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting, they literally put you through all of this because they were low-key angry at the, I'm, I'm hearing envious, but I haven't got there yet. But I'm getting they were low-key angry at the fact that they were struggling in this lifestyle with you. And some of y'all, if they went as far as marrying you, it angered them that they married you because they're like, dude, I this person is cursing my life. Like they their intuition was blocked. They were not like I said, the decision that this person made, and that's why they're like realizing now that they're getting karma because they're like, 
why did I, why, why, why did I not listen? Why did I not wait? This person didn't want to wait. It's like one of those situations where like, you know how people will say, go to God and get like discernment, like go to God for discernment, you know, make sure you get discernment. This person didn't want to do that. It's like they would wait on God for discernment or they would be like, I'm going to just wait on God for discernment. And then like, if they felt like the slightest thing was like a sign because really what happened was they were looking for any and everything or any and every reason to leave you any and every reason to um, belittle you any and every reason to say you are not their person any and every reason to say that they, you're not the person for them just because they did not want to be with you they felt like the grass was greener so instead of waiting on god to clarify to verify the plans that they have for you to this person was like, no, there's something about this person that I just know God doesn't want me to be with them. And they just took that. They took whatever little bit of freaking feeling or whatever they felt and they ran with it. And that's why they're getting judged. That's why they're going through this justice. What's the Knight of Swords chariot? Yep, Seven of Swords in reverse. This person gets defensive because it's like <laughs> they keep trying to make plans with you. They keep trying to build with you and you're just not having it. They're not getting nowhere with you now. What's this? Yep, Nine of Swords. And it, 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 it you doing this to them is like keeping, pushing them more into like I want to say depression, but I'm getting like, it's creating this, this guilt in this person. Like you doing this to them is just making them feel terrible about their, their decisions. But I feel like you don't have any like malice or ill will. You're just done. But it, you rejecting them, you protecting yourself, you not wanting to be involved with this person. It's like this person is realizing that that mark that they had on you because the chariot to me is also like war. So it's like um territory. It's like you had like this mark on this person or this person had this mark on you before where like they can't reach you now. And it's like pissing, it's like making them feel some type of way because they're realizing like they can't even smell themselves on you, y'all. So it's like this vibe where like, at one point, this person knew, like, okay, yeah, I could still get in with this person. It's still getting good. They still love me. They still care. But right now, this person's in this gray area, like, wait a minute. I really think they may be moving on. Or, wait a minute. I really think that they may not want to be with me no more because I can't, I, I don't feel, I don't even feel attached to this person. Like, some of y'all, you could have cut soul ties with this person. Like, you could be so done with them. Like, your soul is, like, done. So this like this dead to me energy. Like you could you could have did like that. You could have been like, no, this person is dead to me. Or like you could have been like, no, I rid this person of my spirit. I rid this person of my body. Like I rid this person of my soul. Like I rid this person of my my freaking next life. I rid this person out of my spirit, my energy, my frequency, whatever. Like I feel like you rid this person. You could have got rid of everything that you have in this person, pictures, clothes, all that shit. You like I read, I read myself off. So I feel like you could have did something like that. Like you rid yourself of this person and they feel that shit. It's like a, it's like this person is like in the dark, like trying to feel for you. Like I can't even feel you. And some of y'all, it's like you could be at a distance from this person. So like they naturally cannot, like their frequency is so far from you. It's like they can't tap into your energy. And some of y'all, you haven't been with this person for years. And so it's like the longer you're away from them, the more and more it's like the pool is, is severing. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, like I say, you're doing some sort of energetic work on yourself. Rather, you are just praying, healing, meditating, or just affirmations. Whatever you are doing, it is pulling you away from them. And they're like, I cannot feel you. Like, this person is, like, trying to feel you, and they can't. They just can't. I feel like you are too far away, or you're too far gone, or you're just not attached to this person anymore. Not like you used to be. Or some of y'all, you're just not. Like, this person could literally be dead to you. Uh, we have the Knight of Coins. Holy Spirit, Knight of Coins, Five of Swords. We got the Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, like I said, there's those assumptions here. 
So they could be making up these assumptions in their head that like you're working something out with somebody else. What's this? Yeah, not a wands. Yeah, this person is under the impression that the reason why you're like you're like dating or something like you're on the market or something like that. So they definitely think somebody else is in the picture. What's this? Yeah, six of swords. This person could be trying to warn you. They could be trying to stop you. We got that six of swords here. It's my red flag card. This person's trying to stop you from moving on. They're like trying to make you feel like you're like making the worst decision in your life. What's this? Yeah, it's a swords. Mm hmm. Yep, ace of cups. Yeah, you have new love coming in your life. Yeah, look at that with that fool. You have new love coming in your life. And this person is like trying to tell you like, no, don't move on. There's the, the dating side. The dating scene is horrible. You're never going to find anybody like me or you're never going to find true love. Like this is true love. I fucked up. I made a mistake. Like this person's going to tell you all of the truth. Nothing. And like, they're going to tell you everything. Like, I'm sorry. I messed up. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have did it. I know it's my fault. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Please don't move on. Like, just don't do it. But I feel like you're gone. Like you're moving on. This person wants a new start, but I feel like they want to try to take care of you or pamper you or like, they really so badly want a second chance. Like, they so badly, like, so badly want another chance with you. Like, so bad. Some of you guys could be pregnant. Or you could have just had a baby. A child. Some of y'all, I feel like this person just really wants another chance. Like, they would give anything to have another chance because... This person realized now with that Ace of Swords, like, they realized this was a connection from the divine. And I feel like they just, they did not listen. And they know it. They they realize now, like, but I don't know, like, we have free will. You might just be done with this person. What's the sound card to the wands? Yeah, Eight of Swords in reverse, yeah. I feel like whatever struggles you are going through, it's like even if you are going through some struggles, like you're not stuck. What's this? Yeah, we got the three of cups in reverse. Yeah. So if like people turn their back on you, you don't have supporters like you used to. People don't fuck with you like they used to. It's like you're you're like, okay, cool. Like you're a strength card exactly like you're like okay cool like i'm resilient i'm strong i'm powerful like i don't need y'all why is this energy here holy spirit yep the lovers in reverse so it's like there's a bunch of soul ties that you're like yeah the, these people here it's like the same energy it's like oh that's what i'm getting thank you holy spirit it's like a domino effect okay so it's like this person could have been like a soul tie that had you like linked to other ones. So it's like once you realize the pattern, the behaviors of this person, other people are going to walk out of your life. Other people are going to separate you. So some of y'all, you're going to be like, it's real, it's real, it's like it's real of a coincidence that when I cut this person off, all these other people start folding. All these people start acting weird. All these people start doing this because... That's not just physical. That's an energetic level. That's an energetic situation. So it's like if you had like these demonic soul ties with this person, you had a demonic soul tie with this person, you end up freeing yourself. Like I said, this person is so blind because they've been so connected to you for so long. It's weird to them that they cannot feel you the way that they feel. Like this person is like panicking. And I feel like... Other people in your life are going to start walking away from you or y'all going to start falling out or you're going to start seeing natural colors because you're no longer stuck. Like, ten of wands, like, 
Motherfuckers put the ten of wands on you and you like holding it. Like, what's up? What you got next? Like, I'm I feel like you're not afraid anymore. You're not stuck. You're not sabotaged. You're not confused. You're like, no, I know exactly what's going on. And because of that, you're gonna lose friends. You're gonna lose people in your life. People are gonna walk away from you. You're gonna run into arguments and fights with people because y'all not on the same frequency anymore. And it's it's triggering. It's like it's triggering a domino effect. It's like this this is an entity that was attached to you spiritually. Possibly. There's something here. There this part this is this is like a spirit spouse or something. I feel like there is something here you had that was following you throughout your life and it was causing you to trauma bond with a bunch of people here. And now that you have detached from that entity, it's like the rest. It's like y'all see those movies where like um this this de like this this deity this demon whatever it was can create like a bunch of like different demons right well when you kill the main demon it's like when you kill the devil the demons die that's what I'm getting thank you it's like you killed the devil so his minions die that's exactly what it is that's why the storm card is here. Thank you. I'm getting chills. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you kill the devil, demons die. That's the title. <laughs> That's the title. Black magic. When you kill the devil, demons die. So, whatever witchcraft was over your life, if you killed the sorcerer, if you killed the, the witch, the spirits die. They judged you. Like I told you, this person judged you. They made a mistake. They could be trying to do witchcraft and manifest you back and... You guys could have taken on some sort of new job or you have new employment coming in your life here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Scorpio. Custody battle. Some of you guys, you may have children with this person. You may have to go through some sort of custody battle. They may end up trying to take you to court to get the kids. We have grandmother. Some of you guys, you could be tab your grandmother could be tapping into this energy or you could be cutting ties with a grandmother figure we have assumptions didn't i just tell you that didn't i tell you this person made a lot of assumptions about you they could be making assumptions about like i said you moving on or dating someone else here yeah and it says be safe yeah you had to protect yourself you had to protect yourself you had to save yourself y'all yeah somebody here is needy and they could have even felt like that. They could have felt like you were needy. Like I said, like it could have been simple shit like A hey, you wash the dishes, A hey, you take out the trash, A hey, you do the laundry, like A hey, you watch the kids. Like I feel like it's that type of vibe. Like it's like shit that this person has to do to survive. It was like coming off needy to them. Like, why do I need to do these things? Like, why do I have to wash your car? Like, why do I have to go to the grocery store and buy groceries? Like, what you mean to fucking eat? It says, speak good, see good results. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of things are really manifesting in your life. Y'all could be doing your affirmations. Like, shit, this person is seeing shit manifesting in your life. And they're like, bro, I should have waited. Simple as that. They should have waited. They didn't wait for you. It says, out for themselves, exactly. This person was out for themselves. Simple as that. They was out for themselves. I feel like all these people are out for themselves. And that's why, like I said, when you kill the beast, the millions die. So that's what I have for you. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you felt the vibe. And subscribe if the reading doesn't resonate today. Maybe next time. Peace.